also demanding changes that could be costly. ATVU's Ken Wayne live tonight in Palo Alto with our report. Ken? Frank, California voters already approved plans for a high-speed rail line between L.A. and San Francisco, but tonight there is opposition to exactly how that train line will be built. About 50 demonstrators gathered in downtown Palo Alto to march to City Hall. They say they don't want the high-speed rail line above ground along the Caltrain tracks. They say the trains will be noisy and bring down property values. They would rather see the train go underground. Quiet, invisible, but carbon free. That's my personal view is that high speed rail conceptually is a good idea, but putting it on a big wall up elevated in the air is a bad idea. The idea of a wall is pretty, uh, pretty ugly. <laughs> so some people were saying it's like a Berlin Wall in Palo Alto. That's what it sounds like to me. The trains would carry passengers between LA and San Francisco at 220 miles per hour. 125 miles per hour on the peninsula. It would actually be built right up against the Palo Alto football field. So I can't imagine the Pali High School playing football games with trains, high-speed trains running by at 125 miles an hour every three minutes. This is very common with any capital intensive quarter type project that the people closest to the quarter have concerns. Mm -hmm. And we just have to take them into consideration and figure out a way to meet those concerns. Rod Dearden has been involved in the high-speed rail project for two decades. He says the train could be built underground in some areas, but... It would be out in cost. There would be environmental impacts, too, because we have underground aquifers that are very delicate in our area. But, so all of that has to be analyzed. The other issue is that the freight trains use the tracks at night, and uh, because they operate on diesel, not electricity, that could be a challenge with the tunneling. But that's certainly something that a lot of people in the community are interested in exploring. There is still some time to make some changes in the direction of this high-speed rail line, but with state funding and federal funding already coming in, rail advocates say they're anxious to get this project going. Construction could start in about two years, and the trains could be up and running as soon as 2018. Live in Palo Alto, Ken Wayne, KTVU Channel 2 News.